Yeah, hi there. These comments are for M, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer of all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. So you completed an integrated writing practice test, and here it is, right here. And over here, this is actually the reading passage here, and you'll also see the lecture uh, right here. So we have a lot of information here that we can look at. So you have the reading passage represents disadvantages of homeschooling here. However, you want to put a semicolon or a period here to avoid what's called a comma splice. You say, however, the listening passage argues, I would say argues here, because you use present here, it's good to use present here, argues that there are positive points of homeschooling. I wouldn't even say this, just say it argues positive points of homeschooling. Now what you did is, in your organization, you're using what's called chunking, which you can do that. So you're putting all the information in the reading passage here, and then the other information from the listening passage over here, right? So you have the reading passage demonstrates three points that might affect homeschool students. Now, once you get to the lecture here, you say the listening passage argues uh, three additional points on the views of homeschooling here because there are three. There's three points in both the reading and the lecture, not just another here. So I think if you want to create this type of thesis for this paragraph, I would also say three points in this particular paragraph as well. So you have studying without classmates will impact students' social behaviors. I think that is correct, according to what it's saying here. I think that's good. You say, in addition to the methodology of teaching, you want to say here, is managed by parents who mostly, you want to say here, have, not having. Because once you say who, you need to have a verb here, not the ing. So who mostly have other work to do. And the problem here is, it's not just, there's one thing you didn't say here. According to the reading, it's irresponsible parents it's not just they don't have other work to do, but according to the reading passage, they're not qualified to teach the children. So I think that's a point you're not mentioning there. You should have mentioned. And then you say, well, you say, well, students need an organized teaching methods. You say, finally, going to school every morning will help students to be responsible in the future. But let's see what, what it says in the reading passage. It's, you, what you want to state here is the disadvantage here. The disadvantage is, is homeschooling, according to the reading passage, prevents students from being punctual and responsible. You're talking about going to school here. That's not really what you want to focus on. You want to focus here on what the disadvantage of homeschool is. So I don't think that here you've actually captured... Uh, what we consider here is the key point of the reading passage. Okay, now let's check the lecture. We have, on the other hand, the listening passage has another point of view on homeschooling. First, studying at home gives uh, the student safety environment. So let's see what it says in the first point here. It says, social skills are important, but many of the top paying jobs like accounting do not require social skills. Some students are shy. There's more opportunities for socializing, such as social networks and extracurricular activities like clubs and sports. So what you're saying here, this is not really, you're not covering what is considered the first important point in the lecture. So this idea here is misrepresenting information from the lecture. It's just not accurate. All right, let's take a look at your next point. Say, also, technology helps students to be organized regardless the parent's control. Okay, so let's take a look at what it's saying here. It's saying, we cannot let minimal cases of abuse and irresponsible parenting dictate the notion of homeschool. 
There are cases of abuse and irresponsibility from teachers and students at schools, not to mention abuse from other students. Most importantly, the idea that teachers do not instruct homeschool students is completely false. Today's technology allows a credentialed teacher to have access to students on a daily basis, and so on. So you're not really, there's just not enough information here. You have one sentence about all of this, and I don't think that's a good idea. You need to more fully explain, I think, this second point from the lecture. And then you have, finally, students will be reliable. And why is that? So you need to develop this idea, too. So all in all, the reading passage shows negative points of homeschooling, and the listening passage argues about the positive benefits of homeschooling. So uh, let's take a look at the rubrics now. The biggest biggest problem with yours is it's just not developed enough and you also have a lot of sentence structure and word choice type errors in there. So if we take a look at the rubrics here, we have a lot of language errors and things. You're leaving out important information from the lecture a lot. You left out about 50% of, of what you should have said there. So on this one, uh, I'm going to put you at 2.0 out of 5. 14 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, if you go into the syllabus, uh, 2.0 is going to put you at 64% on this assignment. So what do you do, I think? Uh, the main thing for you is you need to make sure you have a more complete and accurate response of both the information from the reading and also the lecture and make sure you're not misrepresenting any information there. Alright, anyway, thank you for completing this particular assignment and um, I look forward to reading your practice test at the end of the quarter.